10 Scary Last Words from Prison Inmates Hello YouTube, here's yet another petrifying video. Have you ever thought about what happens to the ruthless burglars and serial killers once they're caught? They don't all rot up in prison waiting to see the light of day again. Some fall under the wrath of the law and end up sentenced to death. Short of a presidential pardon, nothing can save you from death row, and very few escape this fate with a mere whisker. What some convicted inmates say moments before their execution will leave you shocked. Stick around and find out some of the crazy last words from prison inmates. Number 10. Robert Alton Harris Kicking off our list is Robert Alton. He was arrested back in 1978 after being accused of robbery with violence and murder. Together with his brother, they staked out for a getaway car and unfortunately landed on two teenagers enjoying an evening drive. After holding them captive, they ordered them to drive to a remote location where they executed them in cold blood. The vehicle acquired was later used as a getaway ride after a bank heist. The long arm of the government soon caught up with them and he ended up behind bars. His mate, on the other hand, was sentenced to a few years imprisonment. One of the arresting officers was the father of one of the teenagers and didn't realize it was his child who had been executed until later during the forensic analysis report. You can just imagine how bad the gruesome murder was. After many pleas, a date was set for him to be executed. Ironically, in his last moments, Robert uttered weird stuff, claiming that whether you were a king or a street sweeper, we're all bound to meet the Grim Reaper. Quite poetic, I must say. Do you feel that by sentencing him to death, justice was well served? Have you heard of any unruly individuals who live with no respect for the living? Here's one merciless crook who meets his demise. Let's find out what his last words were before visiting the never-ending slumberland. Number 9. George Engel George was an anarchist who lived by his own rules and believed in activism. He was involved in several protests and riots in the country, and one that left much talking was the protest bombing in Haymarket Square. This devastating bomb caused several fatalities, including seven police officers and four civilians, among others who sustained injuries. When this massacre occurred, George was actually at home playing poker. He was arrested and charged the next day with conspiracy and was sentenced to death by hanging. Yikes! What a macho guy we have here. He was playing cards when his men did the dirty deeds for him? His last words were pretty weird as he seemed to celebrate his anarchy acts and claimed that his execution was the happiest moment of his life. Next up, we'll feature Richard Aaron Cobb. Another psycho guy who, in his last moments, seemed to enjoy his execution. Number 8. Richard Aaron Cobb Richard Cobb was a ruthless burglar who was sentenced to death following a scene at a convenience store robbery where he abducted and murdered a man and two women. After staging the robbery with an accomplice, they took the three to secluded surroundings and executed them in cold blood. Luckily, two women survived with severe gunshot wounds. We expect to see remorse in convicts' faces right before their execution, but this wasn't the case here. Richard maintained a calm look. His last words to the warden were thanking him for this great opportunity. All the witnesses were left confused by the remarks. Wouldn't you feel the same in that situation? Mostly because they were probably expecting closure on the matter after bracing the court floors for over a decade. Life is unfair sometimes, and even justice cannot cut through that narrow line. Number 7. John Wayne Gacy You're probably familiar with the John Wayne story, where he murdered more than 33 people back in the 70s. He was considered one of the worst serial killers in the US, and his last words were a bowl of insults asking the guards to kiss his behind. Just imagine the kind of person John was. In my opinion, justice was well served in his case. What maniac kills his victims and stashes them under his house? Serial killers existed early, and so did the death sentence. We'll shift our attention to the early times in Germany when a feared serial killer Peter Curtin lived. Trust me, this one's a shocker. Number 6. Peter Curtin Have you heard of the German serial killer Peter Curtin? He was famously referred to as the Vampire of Dusseldorf as he drank the blood of his murder victims. 
he was beheaded back in 1931 on the count of nine gruesome murders where he violated every right to human life. You don't want to know what he did to the bodies after mercilessly massacring them. He shocked his psychiatrist when he asked her if he'd be able to hear the blood gushing out of his body when his head was chopped off. Yikes! We're lucky this beast doesn't exist in our era or else we'd all be running for our lives. Who would enjoy hearing blood coming from their own slit throat if not a madman? Women haven't been forgotten in the conquest of murder and theft. And our first feature goes to Eileen Wuornos. Don't move a muscle and find out what Eileen's last words were. Number 5. Eileen Wuornos Eileen was just a troubled child who turned into a serial killer. The infamous woman had suffered a great amount of abuse and abandonment in childhood. She went on a spree, taking people's lives when things got too much to handle. Her job made it easy for her to get picked up by her victims. By the time she was caught in 2002, she'd already had her way with seven men. The court found her guilty despite her claim that she was only acting in self-defense. She was sentenced to the death penalty by lethal injection. On the D-Day, she made a creepy statement that didn't make much sense. I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June the 6th. Like the big mothership of all, I'll be back. Now I'm scared of her coming back on June 6th, even if it's unlikely to happen. Number 4. Tom Black Tom was known for terrorizing the citizens of New Mexico back in 1980. He and his gang were ruthless robbers of banks and trains. That was until one unfortunate misfortune befell him. He was caught between a rock and a hard place during a robbery where he ended up killing a young boy. The whole gang successfully escaped to New Mexico where they continued with their regular drill. His freedom was short-lived when an unsuccessful robbery led to his capture. He was trialed and sentenced to strangulation. It was at this point that he uttered the legendary, scariest last word ever heard. He said, I'll be in hell before you start breakfast. Let her rip. To think that was the peak of the event would be an understatement, because shortly afterward, the rope on his neck was completely decapitated. His body ended up landing on the ground feet first and stayed that way for a couple of minutes. That was a very freaky first hanging incident witnessed by the people of New Mexico. Number 3. Robert Charles Comer You probably might think Robert had a personality disorder or maybe had a twisted sense of humor. During the day, he performed as a clown and at night turned into the Grim Reaper taking several innocent lives. What makes you question his sanity even more is his last remarks before being executed. At that moment, you'd expect a worried look and deep words. But for Robert, he was thinking about the famous football team Raiders. Did they check on this guy's mental health? As he probably sounds insane. Or from another planet. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 2. Douglas Robert Unlike many other convicts, Douglas had a lot to say in his last moment before execution by lethal injection. He was guilty of murder and robbery with violence. Just imagine what a man could say before his death. For Douglas, he had some demands to make and wanted to be buried deep with two boom boxes in his coffin. You heard that right, he preferred listening to some loud rock music in his grave. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. And number one, Lavinia Fisher. Lavinia Fisher's last words might give you goosebumps. During her last breath, she claimed to accept any information anyone wanted to send to hell that she'll deliver on their behalf. Seems like she knew perfectly well where she was heading after her ferocious crimes she committed on Earth. Nobody will ever suspect a woman of murder, as they're considered tender and gentle, with no way of being capable of performing such heinous acts. Lavinia used prostitution to cover her thirst for blood and pleaded innocent in all the accounts accused. She, however, didn't kill anyone, but just used her charm. 
and a spike in their drink to render her victims unconscious before robbing them of any valuables. It seems the government was trying to use her as an example for the upcoming thieves using similar tactics to hers. Which of these last words from the inmates scared you the most and why? Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below or else face the horror of death row inmates.